Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Village Guy Morning Show. My name is Miles, and if you're joining for the first time, uh, this show is where we chat to people of Parliament Wellington doing amazing things, um, following their dreams and their passions, and also just, yeah, some of them rising out of the circumstances, which is super exciting for me, but it's also to sprinkle some inspiration and motivation mm. on the youth in Paul. Um, yeah, so that's where we chat every Tuesday and Friday. We have a show in the morning, um, so you're welcome to join anytime. Good morning, everyone. I'm your co-host, Judith. Welcome once again. Thank you for grabbing your coffee and sitting with us in the lounge and listening to inspiring stories. Mm. So, Miles, how was your weekend? Um, I actually had a very quiet meeting, but I think one of the things that really stand out is on Friday, I went yeah. to the Cecilia Art Gallery. They had oh, a nice... Oh, yeah, I saw you posted about that. Yeah, and it was so cool. I was looking at two of these, three of these paintings, and um, I thought, geez, these are really nice paintings. Yeah. And I went out and I did a round again, and I came back again. And uh, there was a lady standing there, and she was like really in awe of the paintings yeah. and because I really wanted to buy one but I thought I'll get into trouble at home um, and then she said um, she just or someone just bought all three her paintings oh wow and it's her first painting she's done over lockdown and sure. uh, someone bought all three and she was just like so excited like a, like a dream come true for her and amazing it was, yeah it was pretty pretty cool your weekend cool my weekend was also interesting. I worked this weekend, but it was so much fun. Mm. So um, I attended an event where I was the photographer mm. <laughs> with my other job. <laughs> and we, the event was all about um, Ladies Women's Month celebrating nice. with Drakenstein in uh, collaboration with um, a &H Makeup. Okay, cool. Um, so it was makeup, wine tasting at Niederberg and yeah, a little bit of wellness. And nice, man. The ladies got a shoot afterwards after they were made up and all of that. Yeah, so that a lot was of cool. people. It was like thirty people, thirty good. ladies. Nice. Yeah, so it was good. It was a good um, nice, combination man. of ladies. Yeah, guys. So every time we've got three guests um, uh, in the hour, we chat yeah. to them just a quick conversation, uh, mm -hmm. just about their journey. Who's your guest? So I have Leon Ben Lamprecht here this morning. Mm. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name right. Yeah, yeah but he's the author of two kiddies books. So oh, we're going to cool. chat to him about that and why he decided to write these books. Yeah, yeah so it looks looking like forward to kiddies that. books are a thing because we yes. had uh, Ms. Smith also last year, uh, Zuleka. Yes. She also had a Ben Gaat School to book. Uh, yeah. We must all do a competition. So it looks like people are doing children's books often. Yes, yes, and Afrikaans especially. Yeah, yeah. Um, on my side, um, I've got Ernest Malunwa. Uh, he is the City Killers Media Officer. So that's of course uh, Mokweni, uh, soccer team. Uh, they're doing exceptionally well in the South Cape Winelands Men's Regional League. In Group B, they're currently first. And he said this weekend they played Fransouk and they really did something really, really cool. They won the match uh, against them. Um, and then, of course, we had, like last time, we said we had uh, drum majorettes. And for those of you that didn't catch the interview, um, we had Jade Lee and she said they're going to South African Nationals. And if they get in, they're going to go to Poland. So I managed to get hold of three of the South African nationals that are representing wow. the country. And they're going to come talk to us about yeah, what they need to get to Poland. Apparently, each person so needs like 30,000 Rand oh, wow. um, to get to Poland, which is a lot of money. So what we do here is we tell people how to help other people. Yeah, and support. Um, we yeah. support local. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. So fantastic. So we're looking forward to a lovely lineup of guests. So grab your coffee, get into the lounge and join us and stay tuned. Uh, morning guys, yeah, welcome back. We've got uh, Ernest Malindwa here. Um, why Ernest is here, um, so we are going to chat to him about his soccer team. He's the media officer for City Killers and McQueenie. And why they caught my attention is they're doing pretty well in the Safa Cape Winans League, in the Men's Regional League in Group B. Currently, they're on first place and they've played 11 games. And of course, what we do here is we chat to people in Paul and Wellington. And of course, McQueenie is in Paul. Um, and I just wanted to find out more about the team. I thought maybe we're going to get the top score, goal scorer here. My owner said he's, uh, he also has scored a few goals in his life. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing very great. Uh, it's nice to be here. Mm. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, thanks for your time. Yeah. 
Uh, quickly, just by background, before we get into the soccer, have you always been in Makuini? Yes, uh, we're talking about City Killers Football Club, a team that was formed in 1995 by uh, three guys who took uh, some of the kids from the street just to develop them and then uh, took them out of drugs and alcohol. So by now, things are going well because as you were saying, we are on top of uh, string B and we are the champions of the top eight. Mm. So which means that's something great. Yeah, so tell us more about the team. So the team is McQueenie. Do we have, under, do we have juniors? Do we have girls teams? Do we have seniors? Uh, look, before I can go further in your questions, uh, I would like to, to send my deepest condolence to one of uh, the legends in Meguini, uh, Mr. Zola uh, Diniso, mm. who passed away uh, last week. Okay. Uh, he was a, a former player of the Old Park. Okay. So we are young, we have learned a lot uh, to him. So may his soul rest in peace. Yeah, yeah City Killers is a, a brand, it's not just a team. Uh, there are a lot of teams such as uh, FC Malaga in Stellenbosch, yeah. Glen Eagles, uh, Stellenbosch United. Yeah. We're competing with such great teams, but then we stand up, we, we're winning, we mm. are doing so great. Mm. For those of the people that don't know, McQueenie Soccer, just explain how many teams are there um, in, the, in, in, the, in McQueenie? Mm, we've got 35 teams but uh, in different levels. Okay. There is Winter League, there is uh, Promo League, right. there's also Men's Regional League, yeah. where City Killers is playing. Most of people calling it uh, SAP League. Yeah. So those other leagues, the teams wants to go up, and we've got seven teams that are playing on the Men's Regional League. Okay. Uh, this coming Friday, um, African Jaguars will take on City Killers. That's a local debut. That's nice. what game everyone wants to, to watch. and. Uh, it's going to be a decider of the league because nice. the African Jaguars are standing on third position. City Killers is on top, so which means when number three playing against number one, they want to win the league. They oh, want to win yeah. the stream. So you say seven teams in McQueenie playing in the SA Regional League, right? Yes. What are their names? So you have City Killers? It's City Killers, right. Pal United, right. African Jaguars, um, Begweni United, um, Begweni Cosmos, uh, Battalions FC, uh, I think I just forgot the, the last one, but seven teams. Wow, that's a lot. That are representing. You know, the good thing is those seven teams are competing. Because if you look at Stream B, you will find uh, City Killers is on top, Beguin United is on second, then African Jaguars is on third. Then wow. when you go on Stream A, you find Pal United is on top, Battalions is on second. So which means wow. now five teams from uh, Drangenstein are up for a challenge, not just a challenge, but a good one. Because Stream A is going to play against Stream B yeah. if it's a winning. Then which means the winners of the, both streams will go and represent the, the region as a whole. Wow, but that's a lot of teams. And you have juniors and seniors? Yes, it's juniors, seniors and also a latest section. That is you so need to have all the, 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 the regions as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're in the regional league now, what happens? So if you end up first, you of course play second in Group A. How does that championship work? If you are first on uh, Stream A, you're going to play, the one is first on Stream B. Oh, wow. So okay. the winners are going to represent the region in the provincial playoffs. Okay. Which is uh, ABC Mutepe, now called ABC Mutepe. Okay. So the winners will be champions and then they will get the trophy and they will get the money as well, you know. How much money, money is there? You know, the winners will get 20,000 from uh, Cape Winelands Men's Regional League, right. but we don't know yet uh, on the provincial level, mm -hmm. but they're still going to get some money. There. So if you, if you win the Regional League, where do you go up to? Like, do you play another league or do you get like promoted and relegated? You get promoted to third division, which is ABC Mutepe. Right. It's two steps before the, the, the Premier Division. Okay, cool. Yes. So tell me, give me four of the big names in McQueenie that um, are playing currently with the PSL. I know three, I just want to test. Look, uh, we are a, a, a very good uh, region when it comes to soccer, when it yeah. comes to cricket and yeah. rugby. Yeah. We have been producing such good stars. Yeah. We've got Andy Lembenyana who's playing okay. for Chippa United. He, he's, a, he's more like a founder of Chippa United. Yeah. He's been leading the team. He's been a top goal scorer. Yeah. We've got now 
the man that is on hot form now, Luvio Memela. He's been doing great. Yeah. He's a former Orlando Pirates. Yeah. He's now playing for Amazulu. Yeah. We've got the legends that are not in the game now. Uh, uh, Karit Ngaka was mm. playing for Mbekweni, sorry, for Memelo to Sundowns mm. and Bay United. There is also Temingo Sifande, we call him Terra. He was once playing uh, for Orlando Pirates. Mm. He also played in Israel. So which means we are a, a, a region that can produce superstars yeah. because there's also upcoming stars. Mm, mm. And where do you guys practice all enough? I mean, you're saying there's so many teams in McQueenie. Um, I know there's one stadium, but what are the facilities like? That's a huge challenge. Mm. That's a huge challenge. That's something now I, I, I think we need to engage the municipality. We mm. need to engage people who are close, who need to see development in our area because we are really struggling when it comes to training facilities. Mm. Because now there is B and C field, we are utilizing those fields. We are four teams that are playing in one field. Mm. So which means you need to take your two hours and then someone else mm. will come and take his two hours. So mm. which means it's a, a, a big challenge for mm. us. But then teams are trying, as yeah. I said to you, that we are really, really giving a good challenge to other teams. Yeah. So which means that two hours we can get, we are utilizing yeah. it. Yeah, but I mean, to have additional facilities, it justifies with all the, th I mean, you've got so many teams playing. Um, I think you can keep a Saturday filled with all whole fixtures every single hour. Look, I was, I was talking about having Andy Lembenyana, having Luvio Mamela, yeah. Terra Fandain. Yeah. Uh, I'm still having a question of why don't we have those facilities so that we can get more of those guys? And they are those. Be Exactly, and, uh, and uh, if you look at uh, the economy of the Drangan State, if we can have more teams, then which means the economy can develop as well. Mm. Because look at the cricket. Mm. Uh, uh, the Rocks have been winning. Mm. And now in terms of cricket uh, uh, equipment, everyone wants to play cricket because yeah. they see the progress in the cricket side. There's Poland Cavaliers who's mm. been doing great. Mm. Now there's youth that is coming up wants to play rugby. Yeah. Yeah. We also jealous. Yeah. We feel like, why can't we <laughs> produce more of Andy yeah. Lembenyana, more of Luvio Memela, so that at least we know we can also act uh, on the economy of this uh, area. Yeah. So do you guys play Boy Lowfield as well on the weekend? Yes, okay. yes, right. yes. When there's tournaments such as uh, uh, Promo League tournaments, it's coming here in Boilo. Also some of the men's regional league games, uh, because there's not enough field in Begweni. Mm. As you know, it's only one field. Yeah. But you know, something that now I can, uh, uh, um, I can uh, thank a lot to the people that are around sport, it's a crowd attendance. Mm. It's the achievement that mm. we've been doing. Mm. You see, when you see people visiting sport, which means there's going to be less crime in our areas. And crime is a major problem that we need as youth to work accordingly nice. so that we can at least save mm. someone's life mm. because by protecting someone you're developing someone mm. Mm. so why Seticulous? i mean if there are other seven teams in mcqueenie why you are Seticulous? Mm, i'm the former player of city killers okay as you said before yeah. <laughs> i'm the former player of the city killers but not only former player i was the captain of the team excuse me uh, i'm proud to say when that team was promoted to sab league I was one of the players that was playing there. I scored the first goal. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to speak the truth. I scored the first goal and I mean, I thought to myself, if I finish playing, why can't mm. I share my experience mm. with the youth so okay. that tomorrow we can get more of yeah. those players that we're saying they yeah. are good. Yeah, and I think people in the background play as a big role as the players because they sort everything out administratively at the, in the background. And it's not easy as you see it in a distance. Mm. When you see it close, there's a lot of things that you need to deal with, yeah. such as mentality of the players. Yeah. Because uh, 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 we don't have much sponsorship uh, in our leagues. I don't know now why there's no more because uh, back in the days, there was Novel Ford who was mm. sponsoring such teams. Mm. There was uh, Lady Grey Fisheries who was uh, mm. sponsoring Elora Safari. Yeah. Those were sponsors before. I don't know now where did they go. Mm. You see, because it's difficult to go and play 
while you are hungry. Yeah. But if you've got sponsorship, yeah. you can have something make, to eat before the yeah. game. That makes a big see. difference, but I think there's a lot of sport codes in Paul also that are hungry for sponsorships. Um, but anyway, tell me, so what is 2022 looking like for City Killers? So we've played 11 games? Yeah, it's, 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 it's very great. It's okay. very great. It's cool. a good achievement. We played uh, the final of NetBank yeah. in uh, Worcester's Wale Timber. Nice. We lost in the final to FC Malaga of Stellenbosch. Okay. But the boys told themselves that losing in the final, they will work on their mistakes. Yeah. And then we played uh, top eight where we were crowned champions. Nice. Now we are leading stream B. Yeah. The difference is six points. Yeah, so Five games left. So it's a bit impossible to lose it now. Yeah. I'm not saying we're going to win it, but it's a bit impossible to lose it nice. now. Because, okay. I mean, it will take us to lose three games for them to catch us. Yeah. Then we are well planned. We yeah. are prepared. We are up to any challenge that is coming to our way. Yeah. And we're looking forward to, to play in Group A, in Stream A, the winner there. Is it Battalion or is it going to be Paul FC that you want to play? Uh, anyone. Okay. It, has, it, it, oh, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It okay. does, we were playing top eight and then we won the top eight. Okay. They were there, so why didn't they win us? <laughs> okay. Because we told FC Malaga when we were playing them, you won guys in Zuele Temba, but now we're coming back to Park. Yeah. Remember, now we only have one game uh, away. Yeah. Out of these five games, we're going to uh, travel to Zuele Temba to play Worcester Spurs. All the other games are home. Yeah. We're playing Jaguars Friday. It's nice. going to be back to back uh, with Jaguars because we, we didn't play first round. Nice. It's going to be first round on Friday, second round on oh, Sunday. I feel that now it's a, it's, a, it's a derby, winning one game, then the other one. You know, we were, we were joking as a technical team of, the t of City Killers saying, one will need to clap hands when you're getting inside the field because we'll be champions already. All right. Jeez, look at you. <laughs> yeah, so that's what's so nice about football. Yeah. You need to bring that excitement. Yeah, and, and really, we are so great. You know, when I'm walking here in Pal now, in Pal Mall, everyone will be saying, Genzo Ane Manene. That's our slogan. All right. When we're walking, it means it's on toes. All right. So everywhere we go, mm. this City Killers brand is not only here in Pal. Yeah. Around Cape Town. Yeah. We've got our Facebook page, which is City Killers Football Club. Okay. If you can go through that page, you will see. We also have a Cape Winelands Entertainment page. Yeah. If you can go through that page, you will yeah. see. That's where I get all everyone. my information. Yeah. Yes. So it's something nice when you let people know. Yeah. Because we're crying off sponsorship. Yeah. Are we doing enough to attract yeah. those sponsorships? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a question yeah. of other TV. Uh, tell me, on Friday you said it's a derby, so is it the McQueenie derby? So, Battalions, yes. is, where are you playing? We're playing in McQueenie, it's okay. City Killers versus African Jaguars. Okay. It's only one game uh, Friday, All then right. by Saturday there's going to be a lot of games. Okay, cool. Mostly it's uh, way games, and also we've got our senior team that is playing on uh, ABC Motep, which is McQueenie Sundowns. We wish yeah. them all the best. They are also doing good because they are sitting on number four on the provincial league. Oh, okay. So, which means that's something great. You know, if we can't thank them with the effort they are putting there, yeah. which means we don't know where, where, are, where are we going yeah. as City Killers Football Club. Cool, but I must say, I'm disappointed because whenever someone comes to sport, they're wearing their jersey, they're representing, uh, you're not wearing a City Killers uh, soccer jersey. So next time you need to come in with a soccer jersey. That's, that's not a question. Yeah. That's something you... Okay, that's a statement. So, so then, I will just leave that statement yeah. there. Next time you'll come because I'll wear my battalion FC one. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Once you talk about another team now, so I can't comment on that because yeah. the only thing that I like is when we all in the same page. Yeah, we all love sport. And I saw which whoever is watching now, uh, you must love what God gives you. Yeah. If you are a player that's what to perform tomorrow, mm. just go to the field and enjoy it yeah. because we've got a lot of chances but we don't use these chances that's yeah. why my question was are we doing enough to attract mm. the sponsorship mm. people that can come and donate mm. don't fold your arms and blame people not coming yeah. to you oh, go out and advertise Knock your on team door. yes Ernest, thanks so much i love the i love the energy just like i've got the passion for city killers i thank you so much for your time and good luck for the 2020 season uh, good luck for Friday with your derby in McQueenie. And I, I hope you're also going to play a McQueenie team in the finals. I hope I will come back 
with my players yeah. when they are the champions. Yeah, with a trophy and also a jersey. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks so much, dude. Thanks so much. Whether you have a big meeting coming up or need a change of scenery to brainstorm new ideas, Workshop 17 offers beautiful workspaces for individuals, teams and enterprises at affordable rates. Workspaces include phone booths, meeting rooms, boardrooms and auditoriums, which allow you to work, meet and collaborate in an optimal environment. With two locations in Johannesburg, three in Cape Town and thousands of members, Workshop 17 is proving to not only change the way we do business, but change the way we see it. You can choose between a number of workspace solutions that gives you unlimited internet access, ample parking space, access to facilities and even optional access to all Workshop 17 locations for the travelling entrepreneur. Visit our website workshop17.co.za for more information and feel free to compare our membership plans so the next meeting or brainstorming session you have will be in the perfect environment to get the best results, all while enjoying the best cappuccino in town. We'll see you soon at Workshop 17. Goedemorgen allemaal. Hopelijk het allemaal nou lekker hulle koffie of cappuccino gekry. En vir ons kom join in die lounge. Ek het die wonderlijke voorrecht van ochtend om vir Leon Ben Lamprecht te interview. Het is so lekker om vir Leon in die studio te het. Leon, welkom. Dankie. Fantastisch. Um, so, laat ek net een kleine bykie achtergrond geef van Leon. Eerstens, insurance broker. Ja, dit, dit betaal die, <laughs> betaal die rekening. Ja. En dan ook journalist. Ja, ek was vol tijd, maar nou doen ek het net so aan de side, maar ja. Oké, okay, en dan ook die skrywer van twee interessante kinderboeke, wat so een interessante engel het. Um, ek dink, as een kind dit lees en ouders dit lees, dan al twee kry net so veel humor uit die twee boeke uit. <laughs> ek, ek hoop so, ja. Um, so vertel my so'n bykie nie aan van jouself. Um, jy, wat... Narrow it down. Ja, yeah, oké. Okay, okay. <laughs> Net so'n bykie, wat het, wat het jy, waar het begin, wat het jy gestudeer, hoe, hoe het jy opgeëindig ja, okay, by twee so, kinderboeke? <laughs> so ek het Beekom geswaad, okay. um, Beekom rechte, um, mm. by Stellenbosch Universiteit. Um, en eindelijk, nee, mm. nou is ek blij, ek het het gedoen gegewe wat ek doen, maar ja. toe ek dit gedoen het, wat ek nie dit gedoen het. Toe wil ek eindelijk gaan journalistiek swaad, of okay. bia of iets, want ek het nie... Die loodeel was maar uitdagend. Mm. Um, en toe het ek, ach, maar toe is ek nou so ver, en ek denk, ek maak het nou maar klaar. Yeah. Maar ek het intussen by die maatie gewerk, toe ek daar, wat ek so lang stoer die baie kort, yeah. het was een dagbrek, mans kosthuis, en die kosthuis okay. daar, het kamers, so dat is cool kamers, en dat is minder cool kamers. Okay. En hoe meer kamerpunte jy het, hoe, hoe hoor op in die lijst, ons het skiet genoem aan, kan jy nou kies wat sy kamer jy in wil blijf. Yeah. En obviously, as jy nou, vir die kosthuis eerst vir rugby span speel, of vir maatjes of so aan, yeah dan krijg je een punt, en die makkelijkste manier om vinnig kom op punt te krijgen, is om vir die maat te gaan blijven. Oh, oké. Okay. So, en toen ik gesê, dit is eigenlijk nie slecht, en toen ek um, by die burger gaan werk, toe ek klaar gemaakt het. Ek wou journalistiek gaan swat het, maar ek het in die middel van die jaar klaar gemaakt, dit is een story op sy eigen. Oké, okay. <laughs> lang story. Uh, en ek het al een rubriek daar geskryf, oor. ek was een trainer voor graad, soos dit het. En toen ek in die middel van die jaar klaar gemaakt, en toen ek ansiek wil doen vir die werk, want dit is dit of ek wacht 6 maanden, toen mm. ek by die burger gewerk, toen ek daar was so 3 jaar, okay. en toen was ek by weg, as een reisjournalist, vir so 6 jaar. Hoe was dit? Jaar. Dit was great. Dit was een baie lekker werk, maar toe my tweede kind kom, ja. en ek naar die begroting kyk, oh. oor en oor en oor, ja. en hy werk hier uit. Ja. Toe, my, my vrou is ook een journalist. Sy werk ja. nou bij Stavros Universiteit in die communicatieafdeling, maar sy was toe ook een journalist, en om dit die begroting van die, van die klok. Van die klok. En toe het ek, my pa is een makelaar al vir, ja, vir derde vraag, ja. en toe het hy vir my sê, maar gaan doen dit. Want ek weet vir myself werk, en journalistiek, freelance, betaal, jy moet hard werk, dit, dit blijf funksie van hoeveel ere jy in sit. Okay. So, dit is, dit is nie, um, jy weet, dit, dit, dit was nie een groeikurve in termen van, ja. van wat jy, <laughs> sekere punt bereik, waar jy genoeg werk het, en kies, maar ek wil nie, ja. en toe, ek, en nou, toe was ek by Sanam vir paar jaar, en nou is ek independent broker, en on the side skryf ek nog rubrieke, en ek het laas jare daai twee boek uitgekom. Ok, awesome. So die twee boeken wat uitgekom het, laat ek so maar vir julle net wees gegaan. So die eerste een is, wat vir my, ek laaf hierdie een, dis Wie skrik vir wortel wolf? 
En dan het ons ook hier zo, ons gaan een kleine beetje daarover praten later, dan het ons ook vir Baren die Barbaar. Hmm. Um, dit klink baie bekend. <laughs> um, maar vertel me Leon, hoe het jy opgeëndig met twee kinderboeken? Ek het nooit gedink ek sal kinderboeken skryf nie. Um, ja. Ek dis nie, ek weet nie, ek het, as jy nie journalistiek is nie skryf, want jy het sal sêkom altyd, allemaal dink altyd, dat gaan die great novel skryf. Ja. Dus ek het, Ek het altyd so'n paar, elke paar manuscripte waarop my laptop ronddraai, wat ek nooit verder gekom het nie. Um, hmm. Maar toe wat gebeur met Diri, is in lockdown, harde lockdown. Ja. Toe, um, ons, ons kinders waar ever gelees is, en ons ook, toe, daar is net soveel boeken in jou huis. Ja. En, jy kan die bibliotheek, jy kan nie eens uit die blaadie huis uitgaan nie. Ja. Um, toe is my kinders met die gat vol, en toe, soek hulle nieuwe stories, en toe maak ek een aand die, um, die, die wortel wordt, dit was die ja. eerste, en hy het in september ja, uitgemaak. Um, toe, ek, toe maak ek hier die simpel story op van die drie varkies wat dink hulle gaan gevreed word die wolf, ja. maar die wolf is eindelijk vegetarisch en hy wil eindelijk net knoffel by hulle leen van sy wortels op. Um, en toe het hulle so baardig van gehad, toch ek maak hy, ek gaan nou maar ja. kyk of dit, kom ek skryf een story daar en af, ek het toe, ek ken obviously die aard van my vorige beroep, ken ek mos nou maar mense by NB, want ek het by Mira Vriendin gehad, ja. NB is deel van hulle, Tafelberg gaan nou die een wat daarin uitgeven. Ja. En toe het ek, um, toe het hulle vir my stiel het vir, vir Michelle Cooper, wat my uitgever is, en toe het ek vir die story gestuur, en toe het sy baie daarvan gaan, en toe het sy gesê, ek moet nog twee baie skryf, so daar is ja. drie stories in. Ok, cool. Die eerste een is oor die drie varkens, dan is ja. een rooi kappie, en, en dan die sienkie wat wolf geskreef, ja. en dit is allemaal syke inversions daarvan, ja. syke spoofs, as het ware, en toe het hulle baie daarvan gaan, en toe het hulle die Ja, toe het hulle die boek uitgekeer. Ja, en ek wil nie sê, ek het, ja, ek teken nie die prentjes. Ok, <laughs> ja, ek sien, um, Nicolien Lau <laughs> ja. is die illust, uh, illustrator. So, um, wat vir my interessant is oor hierdie boek, is dat, Wolf word so my die hero. Ja, ek hou van, ek hou van, so, ek denk, humor is onderskat, ja. um, en ek denk, dit is ook my kou van kinderboek, ek hou eindelijk nogal generally van kinderboek, ek ja. lees selwe goed. Um, want, ach, hoeveel was die romans, ek lees, soos ek sê, ek sê, hy wil gelees, en ek sal eindelijk enige ding lees, maar volwassen romans kan vroeg. Ja. En ek ken die boek is die soon, ek ken die boek ja. is straight up entertainment, ja, aan ja. Um, filter, skoon, ja. pret, wanneer het goed gedoen word, denk ek. Ja. En, um, so dis die een ding, ek hou van humor, so dis hoe kom, ja. ek, ek denk nogal as, obviously die boek is ja. maak. <laughs> en dan die tweede ding is, ek hou van stories wat jou verwachtingen ondermijn. Ons verwacht die wolf is die ja, bad guy. Exactly. En, ja, ja, so die idee was juist om Ja, dit is een lekker toest. Ja, die en, en die ander ding wat ook vir my interessant is, is dat wolf vegetarisch is. En dit is, is, is so relatable to today. Nee? <laughs> Hy is vegetarisch. <laughs> Hy eet nie vlees nie. Ek wil net sê, ek eet vlees. Ok, um, <laughs> ek eet ook vlees. <laughs> maar, um, maar ja, ek het gedink, dit is een um, interesting twist. <laughs> dit is een baie interessante twist. En, en die, die een ding wat ek... Wat, wat vir my ook uitgestaan het omtrend die boek is, obviously die ouwer lees, mis nog vir hierdie kind die boek, hmm. maar jy as ouwer, dit vat jou ook een bykie dieper, die, want Wolf, ja. Wolf kreeg tweede kans. Dit is, dit is die hoop is, ja, ek, so ek lees baie vir my kinders en my vrou, en ek, ek weet nie of jylle kinders het, of jy kinders het, ek het die kinders nie, maar ek, so ek, daar moet allemaal iets vir die ouwer ook in een kinderboek ja, is, anders ja. is dit, so ek denk die beste kinderboek, he, iemand soos Jakko Jakko, het baie goed, het iets vir, die ouwe en die kind. Ja. So ek hoop, om, ek het het, seker maar, met, met myself ook, <laughs> my achterkop geskryf. Ja. Ja. Um, so, dit was die idee achter dit. Ja. Ja. En hierdie een, ek moet sê, Baren die Barbaar, te leen nou inkom, is die eerste ding wat ek vir hom gesê het. Leon, ek dink hierdie is jy. Allemaal, sê vir my, is dit jy? <laughs> jy is 7 jaar oud was. <laughs> allemaal vraag my altyd of dit ek is, of my kind, of my sien, wat my sien sy naam is Ben, nee, dit is nie een van ons. <laughs> Hoewel, ons al besik maar barbaarse neigings gehad het. Maar ek het net, <laughs> ek, het, ek het een ochtend wakker geword met die, um, die opening stroof, um, waar in die barbaar was ja. genadeloos en naar, dit is nogal ja. erg vir die sienkie van het 7. Ja. En ek is nie iemand wat rarig in ruim skryf, dit is my baie moeilik. Um, okay. En toe dacht ek, ek gaan kyk of ek het kan recht kry. Ja. En toe het ek hierdie story geskryf, en dit is een ander uitgever, dit is dit, hulle, mm. dit is kraal, um, en toe het ek het verder gestuur, en hulle het, toe nou daarvan gauw, en besluit om dit, dit is uit die manier, ek was een relatief, relatief, <laughs> ek het nie klas gebank, ek het was het nie, ek sê, ja. maar op school het ek nie klas gebank, nie, ja. en ek was een redelike voorbeelde gekend. Ek meen, ek het my oomlikke gehad, maar, Ek dink nie, ek het my maar haare laat uitreik nie. Nee, my pa het my haare oor, so ek meen... 
Kijk, ik was ook nou, toen ik op school was, was ik ook baie stil en ingetoe. Maar ik denk altijd, um, dus 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 zekerlijk dat kinderkies, als hulle moet skryf, dan is het altijd zulke <laughs> stories wat geskryf word. En nie, en nie die opposite van wie hulle erg is nie. Ek dink mis leef seker maar vir curious die yes, deur exactly, jou karakters. Yes, exactly, exactly, die deur jou karakters. <laughs> nie dat ek wou, ek ben, ek het nou nie een behoefte gehad om soos hy die dominiese kar te krap nie, <laughs> ja. jy weet so, um, maar, um, ek, ja, ek dink, ek dink deel van die fun van, en het geld maar enige ding skryf, is dat jy kan jouself, of nie nie jouself, nie, ek ben juist, was nou maar skryvers van, ja. van boe dit, ja. maar die ook karakters en enige, um, situasie gooi. Ja. Yeah. Which I think is interesting. En jou laat jou maar leid dier jou, ek weet, ek weet eens, onthou net, daar is een wesenlijke verskil in die kinderboek, en ek, yeah. vir roman, maar ek denk, ek begin sal geld, ek weet, jou karakter leid maar jou story. Yeah. Ek het nie geweet waar ek op pad is, yeah. toe ek die ding geskryf het nie, en, Oh, ja. prachtig. En op, um, op, eind, op die einde, toe jy nou dit klaar geskryf het, toe besef jy, wat het jy omtrent jyself besef? Ek het, nie, ek, ek het wel besef dat ek nie gauw weer een boek in ruim sal skryf. Dit is rarig moeilik. Ek het, ek het wat is moeilik om trende? Dit is nie iets wat vir my natuurlijk kom nie. Um, okay. My vrou is baie goed daarmee. Ja. En ek het vriende wat, wat nie soos is en hulle, dit kom vir hulle makkelijk die, die ritme en die, ja. en die ding is. Maar dit is nie iets wat vir my, ek moest myself soos gaan denk hier oor. Ja. Was, ek moest gaan sit en ok. En dan moet jy werk aan het, want die, die ritme pas nie lekker in. Ja. En dan moet jy die woord gaan edit. Dit was... Dit was nie sonder uitdaging. Ek okay. sal dit nie sommer weer, en dan, ach, so, ek weet nie hoe, hoe goed jy kinderliteratuur kan, maar ek moet so Julia Donalds en The Graffalo, um, sy skryf, dit, sy skryf baie goed, Philip de Vos doen het ook baie goed. Mm-hmm. Ek doen het nie baie goed, ek denk ek doen het serviceable, en ek sal probably het kan beter doen as ek hard oefen, maar dit is raar of nie makkelijk. Die ander ene is baie makkelijk, dit is makkelijker om het een story te vertel. Um, sê vir my die reviews wat um, omtrend die boek het teruggekom het, wat was die, wat, wat was nou vir jou die interessantste review wat jy gekryd omtrend jou twee boeken? Ek het positieve terugvoer gekry um, in, in meeste gevallen. Ja. <laughs> so, um, Koos kom buis die wortelwolf boek gelees en hy het baie daarvan gehad, wat ja. vir my nou nogal cool was en ja. um, jakte priesters en kinders was ook Ek het gesien, jy het gepost van, daarvan ja. ook, nee? Um, maar die interessantste een wat ek gekry het, was, um, een vrou wat soms in die kerk was, al sien het gesê, hou van die boek, maar als te min bekleier. Wow. Hy is so acht jaar oud, en hy, hy wil, hy wil jy dan met meer fights, en yeah. was te min violence. Oh my word. <laughs> so ek denk, die, die interessante sin vir my, bly altyd, obviously hou ek al van, as die volwassen is daarvan, nou, maar dit, dit is vir my die lekkerste om te hoor, wat die kinders daarvan. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Ek sal nogal lyk, jy met een groep kinders, in een kamer by mekaar kry, wat die boek gelees het, en net hulle reviews van dit kry, dit sal so, ek denk, dit sal so, ja, nie, moralistisch alle, wees om te hoor, wat hulle, en kinders wat lees hulle anders, nie, hulle, hulle sien goed raak, wat jy nie, um, wat jy nie altyd sal, sal raak sien, hulle ja. sal oplet, hoe die, sê nou maar, die, da, hoe sê met die koelbok stap, ja. um, roek, roek op en nou op die, op die ja. inskets, um, so hulle, hulle, hulle kyk fijn, hulle kyk fijn, as wat mens dalk sal doen, ja. maar ja, kinders, die kinder reviews is, is, denk ek, die, vir my die interessantste, die interessantste want ek ben dus op die aan die, ja. die mark, of is die die ouders moet het koop, ja. maar as jy kinders het in die ek dan. Ja, ja, exactly, hulle moet geïnteresseerd wees daarin. Oké, okay, so voltooi, ja. gauw vir my die volgende sinne. Oké. Okay. Ja, jy moet net vir my een gevoel beskryf. Ja. <laughs> so, elke keer as ek een kinderboek skryf, gebeur dit met my? Um, dan wonder ek, Skryf, so skryf, ek, die gaan nie, ek kan nie, die skryf proces, die, skryf die, proces, die, die, dit is, dit is die gevoel a, um, rondom dit. Skryf is, mens het die visie, of die visioene van skryvers, wat met rolnek draaien achter tik machine sit, en ja. pas moer loud tegen, en die son en kyk, dit is glad nie so nie, nee, okay. dit is, wel nie vir my nie, ek, dat is seker mense wat so is, maar ja. skryf is harde werk, soms kom het makkelijk, um, maar meeste van die tyd sit en sweet ek die ding uit, wat ek wel nou geleer het, um, ja. na al die jare is, nou weet ek daarom al, as ek iets geskryf, wat, wat goed of sleg het. Ja. Um, maar skryf, bly maar soms moeilik, en jy sê altyd lis om het te doen. Dit ja. is eindelijk maar, dit is soos muziek oefen, is, obviously talent help, maar dit bly die oefen, ja, en dit is die ja. selde ding met dit, jy, jy moet gaan sit in die werk. Ja, en dit is nie net die passie. Nee, nee die, die mense het hierdie, en, en ek denk, meeste mense sal, probably as jy goed genoeg idee het, en hulle denk ook die, so, maar, Ek het altijd gedink, die idee is die belangrijkste ding. Ja. Die idee is belangrijk, maar het gaan eindelijk met die execution, so jy moet het doen, en het ja. klaar maak, en dit, awesome. skryf is nie sonder sy. Daar is baie interessant, om jou feedback daar hoor te kry. My skryfstijl, 
wordt in die volgende drie woorden opgesluit. Ek hoop snaaks. <laughs> dit is my, jy lach nie, maar, maar dit is my, my um, dit is, ek, ek, ek kan nie, ek, mense soos Dana Sneeman, wat is, is baie goed met, met mense roer, diep in hulle ja, seel, dit is ja. nie my stijl nie, ek, ja. ek, die lewe is, en daar is niks fout met dit nie, maar dit ja. is soos, soos wat, ek ga nie, as ek braai vir koos die plesie aan sit, sy molberge, en ja. waar sing oor hoe hardseer sy kinderlewe was nie, dit is kruid, ja. Ja. en daar is een plek daarvoor, um, maar dit is nie my stijl nie, ja, ek, is, exactly. ek is maar snaaks, of ek hoop, ek hoop yes, ek is snaaks. Jy is, toe ek, ek het jou vir die eerste keer van ochtend ontmoet, en ek het nog die hele tijd gelag, so jy is snaaks, is daar enige plannen voor een audioboek en ouderdomsgroepen vir hierdie boek? Um, Audioboeken, ek, ek, ek sal met my uitgever moet seker maak oor dit, oor, oor beide van hulle, um, ek weet, daar is, audioboek is nog nie helemaal so groot in Zuid-Afrika, nie in die kinderboek uh, yeah. mark nie, daar is nie wist ek een neigings, ek, so, miskien, is wat ek die beste wat ek yeah. kan sê, ek weet nog nie oor dit nie, um, en die ander ding met specifiek kinderboek ook, om audioboeken nie altyd werk nie, is die prentjies is nogal belangrijk, yeah. so, um, dis dit, die, wat die kinder, kinders wil die visuele element hee, ja. um, ek het het sien met my kinders toe ek vir hulle die rouw story lees versus saam met die ja. illustratie hulle aandag drijf bykie meer weg ja. um, en die ouderdomsgroep ja. is die tweede ene wat jy gevraad het, yes. ok, so die ene wie skrik vir woord of sy mik of sy mark segment is grootliks eerste lezer, so tussen 6 en 9 ek denk die sweet spot is so rondom 8 ja. en die een bar en die barbaar is soort gelijk, maar van die woorde gaat dat bykie moeiliker wees vir, vir die jonger kinder, so ek so sê so tussen 5 en 8, um, weer so rondom 7 is, 6 of 7 is probably die, die sweet spot. Dit is fantasties man, dankie Leon, dat jy Baie, dankie kom koop het by ons. Um, sê vir my vir die, wat, wat vir die volgende, kom en sê vir die volgende 2 jaar, wat is, wat is in die pipeline? Um, wel, ek gaan af en toe aan om my die job te doen, want ek moet my rekeninge betaal, ja. <laughs> maar ek het daar, daar drijf so manuscripte wat rond, um, by die uitgevers wat in besluit of hulle wil uitgee, al dan nie, um, ek is redelijk hoopvol, okay. um, ek kan nog nie veel verklap nie, want ek het nie raar een gevarm tijdlijn nie, maar ja. miskien dalk nog hierdie jaar, een of twee of dalk volgende jaar, um, as dit van my afhang, so lang ek idees het, sal ek skryf, ek weet nie of ek ooit een roman sal skryf nie, okay. ek sal klaar maak, ek sal dalk weer begin maak, ja. <laughs> ek sal klaar maak, <laughs> Um, maar ja, dit is maar my, dit is my lekker, ek het nie gedink, ek gaan dit so geniet nie, en my ja. kinders hou daarvan, en ek meen, as jy, soos Jakko Jakos, wat al 200 boeken geskryf het, in sy 20 jaar, dan word het, dan, dan word het ja, a sizable dat, income, ja. en dan kan my sit, ek sal, ek sal nie my die job los, ek hou actually daarvan, okay. is my lekker om ja. dit te doen, maar, hier is a lekker distraction. Ok, sê vir ons, waar kan ons hierdie boeke gaan koop, en kry? Wie skryk vir wortel, wolf, en baar, en toe hoort by Babin Boots in die perel te wees, um, maar as jy dit nie daar kry nie, hierdie in is by Kral, so website, kraal, google net, baar en die baar waar, en jy sal dit kry, ja. wie skryk vir wortelwolf, is by meeste goeie boekwinkels beskikbaar, um, ook, take a lot, um, graffiti boeken, um, ek denk hy is by exclusive online ook beskikbaar, as jy sik om om in die winkels te kry, my boer dat is, of contact my, dat is ek altyd, dat is ek fantastisch, baie baie dag, baie dankie vir julle, baie dankie vir die tijd, lekker om jou hier te het, en dankie dat julle ingeteen het, en soos Leon gesê, kan kry die boeken, Lekker hier morgen vir die kinders en ouwers om saam te eet, ja? Ja, fantastisch. Dankie jylle. Dankie. Bye-bye. Good morning guys and welcome back. Um, of course, uh, if you're joining for the first time, this is the Village Guy Morning Show. And we chat to people of Paul and Wellington doing amazing things. And today in the sports section, we're chatting to three very, very talented drum majorettes. Uh, in Afrikaans, they call called uh, trompopis. Yeah? Right. So, uh, yeah, last week or two weeks ago, we had JD also here, um, JD. And she said that they are going to the Western Cape Nationals. And if they get into the Western Cape Nationals, they're going to go for the Nationals uh, trials. And if they get in, they have opportunity to go to Poland. So three of our locals, um, they got their SA colors. So this morning, I've got Yildine Johnson 
she's on the far side. And then we have Courtney Williams in the middle, and then we have Kiwan Mazdorp. And yeah, I just wanted to find out uh, more why they're doing drummies um, and also the cool opportunity in Poland. But of course, we know these type of sports is all self-funded. And the reason why we're also having on the show is that if there are people out there that want to yeah, make the dreams uh, come true, um, they are looking for funds and they are going to do some fundraisings and uh, prize uh, Opinavik Mitzlai. <laughs> so, Hildin, welcome. Thank you. Gaan all right, and E. All right, need to be smile. Okay. Say, how come you don't do drums? I do drums. As a boy, I like to do my sport. I like to do my own 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 sport. So, what the school is also primary school, high school? High school. What the school is also? New Orleans. All right, cool. So, of course, primary school? I didn't do drums. Okay, I didn't do drums. So, how long do you need now? Five years. Okay, wow. Courtney, how come you do most drums? Um, to I can grad four, I come to see me the um the drum um the trompopis often by William Lloyd to be glad. And to see me that that like very interesting and to try a fruit to match for my own the other name and to see me the um um. So how long do you need? Ten years. That my ten years. Wow. Okay, cool. And you go to what school? I go to last year to matriculate. Oh, wow. Nice, interesting. En meneer Kiewen, Maasdorp, hoe kon doen ons drammies? Ek doen drammies, omdat ek vir New Orleans was in het perform by my hart aard concert. En toe wil ek ook maar probeer, omdat ek nog een seel gesien het. En dat doen ek het ook so. Ok, hoe lang doen jy het nou? Drie jaar. Ok, cool. So sê gewoon my, jylle doen moest nou jylle trals, jylle was allemaal in Western Cape, mooie jackets, lekker mooie nekies. Hoe was die trals vir jou? Was dit baie competitive? Het daar baie hard gewerkt? En hoe was die trouwens, hoe was die experience vir jou van, of course, as ander school, nie school nie, ander teams ook, en as klom mense, hoe was die experience? Het was baie nerfrekking, en ons het baie geleer ook, maar het was baie werk. Wat is dit? Ok, nou verduidelik vir my, hoe is die baie werk, die oefening, hoe gereeld oefen jylle, waar oefen jylle? Ons oefen met my coach huis op die oomlik. Ok, wie is die coach? Jaime. Alright, cool. Oh, hap op die huis, ja, ja. We ons oefen in die weekend, maar ons oefen nie nou nie, omdat het examen is. Ok, cool. Skryf ons nou examen? Wat te graad is ons nou? 10. Ok, cool. Courtney, hoe was jou experience by die VP, hoe was jou die VP Western Cape? Dit was, het was wel ruit, want ek het al voorheen gegaan en, ja. So jy is nou enig die senior tussen die drie? Ja. Dis om jy in die middel sit, net om met die kontrol. Sê om my heel dien, jou experience, jou eerste keer of nie? Nie vir die eerste keer. Ok. Het was nie vir my so nerfrekking, jy van ek het nou aan die proces gegaan nou. Het was actually baie. Sal nie sê gemakkelijk nie, maar het was at ease. Ja, maar nou sê gaf vir my, is dit die eerste keer wat jylle Western Cape kleer het? Of vir jou eerste keer? As eerste keer Western Cape van die vorige keer het ons nou na Boerland gaan op, dit ons Boerland kleer. Oh, right, ok. Oh ja, ek sê met die atletiek ook, het allemaal vorm nou aan die Western Cape. En ok, dit is sikker jou honderste keer met WP, met Western Cape. En jou eerste keer? So wat gebeur, doen jylle die trials en dan bel jylle vir jou en sê, hey, Kiewen, kom haal jou trekstoot. Amal is al voorzichtig na sê. Ok, so by die trials, wat doen jylle, doen jylle alles, is dit ek, wat hylle gemaak, is dit een team ding, of is dit individual goeikies, hoe werk het? As team en individual. Ok, so wat doen jylle team en individual? Ons doen eerst een bleep test en dan, as het slag en dan, Hy gaan sy aan, hy doen ons, as een groep, doen ons ons verskillende soorte performances. Ok, wat is jylle bleep test? Die bleep test is wanneer jy op en af hard hard loop. So is dit deel van die trials? Ja, alle toets jou fok sê. Ok, so wat, as dit net die hard loop, wat anders doen jylle met die bleep test? Like sit-ups en push-ups en soke goeie kies? As dit net hard loop? Ja. Ok. Hildien, sê jy vir my, so... Western Cape trials, I mean Western Cape moest trials nou, en toe kreeg jylle moest nou essays. So, wat gebeur? Jylle het gaan, wanneer was jylle trials? Die 19e. 19e februari. Februari, so die jylle team is daar so, en dan, hoe word jylle, hi, Hildien, kom al jou essay jacket, hoe weet dit? Hy het vir ons as jy op die 19e gegaan, die volgende week was gauw tanks het raak, dus jy raak gauw tanks het raak, klaas, dan gaan ons ons uitslaak, en so het ons uitslaak die 28e gekry. Ok. Al was die jy, Gewoonlik een e-mail maar, of wel eens even jou coach maar. Soms is het op Facebook ook wat ek had sien, oh, ek het my kallers gekregen. 
Oké, okay, en toe is die feeling, like, wat, is, ja, het, is the dream come true, of wat? Ik was bij die school, wat ik bedoel, ik ek het net gehaald, met mijn vrouw, kom maar heel toe, ek kan nie praat, ek, ek gaan heel net, met mijn vrouw, wat is het? Dus met mijn ook, ek het my saam my Isa kallas gekregen, dit is die eerste keer wat ek Isa kallas okay. gekregen. Mijn ma was so trots, ja. <laughs> was die, so wat is die beste, die Isa, of die vorige Isa kallas? En dat die een, nou. Hoekom man? Omdat die een, kan ek so gevoel kreeg, ons gaan in die vorige keer, was het ons nou kou, wat ook kon ons hier gaan. Oh, nee, het is... En, oké, okay, maar jy het sê al klaar, jy sê kallas na, want jy het yeah. het allemaal voor 100 jaar. <laughs> um, en jou kan, hoe wat, en waar was jy? Het al ook veel e-mail gesteer of gebel? Um, ek het een maandag slaap weer. <laughs> <laughs> um, en het my maag nie wakker kon maak. En so. en toe, hoe toe, het al op jou maag gebel of wat? My maag het die week gekom. Oké, okay, en toe, wat, en toe, wat is die feeling van, is, is die jou eerste keer nie? Mm-hmm. Dat is my eerste. Ja, maar hoe is die nie excited die van dat jy maandag slaap en te sê, <laughs> mami, is die een droom of is nou waar? Ek is slaap. Oké, okay, en toe? Ook ons kan jy sê vir my wakker. En toe? Ek wil gaan, jy weet maar. Ek was nog in die slaap. Oké, so is nie. Oké, dit is nogal spaar die ook. Um, maar nou sê, hou my nou, wie is die eerste persoon wat jy nou sê, van die, ek sê, ek het nou eerst sê, Carlos, maar wat, wat betekent het vir jy, van jy sê, maar nou jy jylle weet, baie hard, um, jylle oefen ook, daar by die coach sy huis, ek meen om Isa Carlos te kry, van die hele Zuid-Afrika, as my is groot. Wat, wat betekent het vir jy? Wat betekent, um, sy kan meer leer uit. Oké. Okay. En sy kan verder gaan en die dinge wat die doen is sien. Dan moet sy sê. <laughs> Ander mense kan dit nie doen nie, maar mm. ek kan vir hulle ook leer. Mm. Maar as het a dream come true vir jou, ons like. So, um, Courtney, jou is ek alles, wat is jy die beste nou? Ek my nou is nou, jy is mys nou a senior, right? So, jy kan mys ook jou is ek alles was het like, oké, okay, ek doen het al vir 100 jaar, ek sal maar sê kan nou Isa Kallas kry, of weet jy, dat was jy een bykie surprise? Mm, ek was een bykie surprise, maar ook, ook nie eindelijk mm. hier, want ek het al dier die experience gegaan. Mm. Mm. En toe, wa, hoe, 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 hoe laat weet jy vir jou? My kous het vir my maag gebel, en toe sê sy eerste, ek het het nie gekry nie. Toe voel ek my harde gaan staan. <laughs> oh, van hulle ding toe, oh, jy weet, jy gaan het kry, en toe speel hulle een bykie sam jou. En achterna, toe sê sy, maar ek het het gekry, en toe skree my ma en van in. Um, wie was die eerste persoon wat jy gesê het vir Abba vir jou ma nou? Jou ma weet mys eerste, nou wie is die derde persoon wat jy gesê het? Ja, my oma. Ok, toe wat sê jy oma? My oma was in zauberheid dit so, so dat ek kan geselebreer. Ok. <laughs> Jou tien? Wie is die, wie is die persoon wat jy gesê het? Na jou ma? My pa. Ok. Ok, so wat gebeur nou? So of course, jylle mys nou Esa Kallis, uh, jylle moet nou of course, jylle trek soos mys nou kry en al die goeikies, mm. So, jy dien, uh, forward, wat beteken, moet jy nou, hoeveel geld moet jy nou insamel, wat is die, ja, wat moet jy nou doen? Ons moet 30.000 gaan insamel, wat jy moet nou so afbeta, oor maand, elke maand 5.000, 5.000, 5.000. Ok. En dan, die oefening is moet nou, ook elke week miskien oefening, moet ons tot in die kaap gaan oefening. Ok, so is petrol geld ja. Ok, so as jylle Western Cape team is, jylle, hoe, hoe, hoe gereel gaat oefen jylle in die kaap insamel? was, oor ons sal, ons nou december maand national gehad het, en toe was het ons nou kou wat. Ja. Toe het ons elke zondag een wp oefening gehad. Wow. So, ons elke zondag gegaan het. Ok, dat is nogal intens. Ok, nou wat, en die, hoe gaan jy nog 30.000 rand kry? Jy het het sê al verlede al gedoen al. Hou jy kunnen reis van? Um, my maag gaan functie zo en probeer um, om by plekke in te gooi vir sponsors. Ok. Ja. Is het, maar jy kan eindelijk stand-up comedian en wie sê, ga geld is, <laughs> as jy nie maar slaap is, het jy. Uh, Jyl wat, uh, gaat jy ook nou insamel op raakjes? Mm. Ok. Ok, maar dit, dit is, dit is baie geld vir een, uh, vir so. een familie, ne? Um, so, Western Cape, uh, gee jylle niks geld nie, of is alles nou net every person on its own? As jy nie dit, dit is, maak jy, gaan jy nie saam nie? Mm. Ok, dit is rof. So, what's the big dream, Jyl Dien? The big dream. Ek, ek voel nie nog, ek het een groot droom, ek van my voel my droom en loop aan, het ek complete werk en wel geheer, het my droom was om Esa Kallis te krijgen. Nice. En ek het het bereik, so ek voel my goal is achieved. Mm. Big dream, koot nie? My droom is net om vir my mense wat my support nie trots te maak waar ek gaan. Oké. Okay. Mm. Big dream? Um, my droom is om vir my, om my sisterkie te help, by die ek al weer dag is. Mm. Oké, okay, wat is jou sisterkie? Sis nou 10. 
Tu gaan sy ook nou tram nie stil? Sy tram nie. Oké, nice. Jy trein dus hoeveel. So, jou coach, hoeveel teams, hoeveel spelers, of wat nie, hoeveel dramies het jou coach Isa toe gevat? Ons was vier. Oké, en dan het allemaal seniors, as jylle juniors of seniors? Seniors. Oké, jylle die seniors, en dan, of course, die een. Oké, cool bij hem, so, hoe gaan ons weet wanneer jylle fundraisings gaan hou, hoe gaan, wauw, hoe moet die mense weet om vir jylle te kom support? Sal posters maak, en op Facebook sit, en... Oké. Nou, wat gaan jy doen nie? Prijs. Is daar niks anders wat jy gaan doen nie? Prijs. Oké. Kort nie? Weet jy, my am, my ouders het gepraat van beertuin en... Oh, my ma wil a jazz night al. Jazz night? Oké, kan die jazz? Oké. Of course, in zover duidelijk gauw, of course, you're doing it 10 years. Hoe is, hoe is Issa, how easy to represent Issa? En waar was jylle voor jy, en of course, kou wat jy nou nie gebeur, en waar was jy internationals voor jy? Ek kan sy het saam tyd het gegaan, 2019, wat COVID begin het vir ESA, so ons het nie getrevel. Ok, en voor COVID was jylle, het jylle nie vir ESA represent nie? Ja. Ok, cool. Jodien, Courtney en Kiewer, dankie. Ek hoop vir jylle, kry jylle 30.000 rand, jy ons baie geld, van een persoon. Maar anyway, dit soek om ons maar nou te doen, hoopel die, hoopel ek as die mense wat daar buiten is, kan sien ook jylle hou van jou jokes, as jylle nog vir jou, miskien, fun reises, Ja, fijn reis is instel. Maar anyway. Guys, Jodien, Courtney en Kiewen, baie dankie en voorspoed en well done on the dreams come true. Dankie. Dit moes nog al sê, you got your dream. Dit nog al sê, you got your dream. En dit gaan moes nou na jou sister kyk. Ja, guys, so, they are dramaturets, I mean, they're national, so they're of the best in South Africa. And they're going to Poland in August. What, yeah, we said in August, they're going to Poland and they need financial contributions, you heard each person needs 30,000 rand uh, to represent the country, to get their track suits. So if there are any other people out there that um, want to contribute and help them get to Poland and make that dream come true, uh, we'll really ap appreciate it. So, Yildin, Courtney and Kiewen, baie dankie vir julle tyd. En dankie mami, dat mami vir julle gebring het. <laughs> Thanks guys. Yes, so that brings us to the end of another exciting show. I mean, we've just got local content uh, yeah. keeping us busy for weeks and weeks. Yeah, another amazing lineup of people, yeah? And inspiring people within our community. It's people that's like literally living amongst us, yeah. which is very good. Yeah, so I just want to say um, thank you to Ernest uh, for his chat uh, from City Killers and then also from our our majorettes, guys, trying to support those people. They are going to Poland in August and they really need some funding. And thank you once again to Leon Leimprecht. I had an amazing interview with him. And please go and buy his books. Um, it's a good investment for your kids. So, yeah, cool. Yeah, guys, so like just a reminder again, um, we do this every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, you guys are welcome to go check all our previous guests. I mean, there's so many people in Paul that have really good stories mm. and nice inspirational stories. So you can go onto YouTube, you can go onto the website. Um, what's also very fascinating, Judith, is that a lot of companies have now asked us um, to advertise on the show. Um, yeah. We had a few, so we are busy now with our packages. Um, yes. Something really exciting. Um, it's also nice to see companies are interested. Yeah. So I think maybe going forward, uh, we're going to have some information on companies that are yeah, that want to advertise and we'll have packages out yeah that's gonna um, be cool yeah so enjoy your weekend yes you too yeah. and we'll see you next week yeah thanks for tuning Thank in you. goodbye bye Ek is, ek is baie impress met jou wat so goed is, ne? Jou oor is hier en daar en die rechte plekke. Ok. Ok.